Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram and we're going to basically be really, really cleaning my house in preparation for the Christmas decorations going up because I don't know if you can tell, I'm just getting over a very, very severe cold um, and I haven't cleaned the house in probably about three weeks. So I really, really, really have a lot to do. I also have a one year old and a dog. So there is like dog hair everywhere, like toys everywhere. There's so much that needs doing. So a big tidy and then a proper clean as well is probably what's in order. I've got my massive coffee. Um, I'm in my very comfy sweats and I'm ready to go. I've got like two or three things for Christmas up already that have been up for a couple of weeks um, just because they're new things that I bought and I thought there's no point in putting them into storage to then get them out in a couple of weeks. So I put them up already, but everything else is going up after I clean the house because I really need to clean the house before I put the Christmas tree up. I've also got a new camera. This is my new camera. I don't know if you can tell the difference in like quality or whatever. I hope that it's gonna be good. I am getting used to it. So I do keep like looking over to where the viewfinder is because it's in a different place to where my other one used to be, but I actually quite like it so far. It definitely seems a lot better than my other one. So hopefully this is like a good little video to do a test of like the quality of it um, and like a speed clean. Everyone loves a speed clean. I feel like I needed, I've actually watched three speed cleans over the past week to get me like motivated enough to do my own video, but also actually just get up and clean because I've had absolutely no energy over the past week or so. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this now. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to go and get all of my cleaning stuff out. But the first thing I'm going to do is go upstairs, um, open all of the windows and tidy because obviously I can't clean before everything is tidy. And then everything is just everywhere. Like, you know, when you just get to a point where you don't, you just give up. Like, and that was where, <laughs> like the space that I've been in recently, um, because it's just hard. It's hard doing this like solo parenting thing when, um, you know, you're poorly yourself, you haven't got much energy. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling a little bit, but I have a free day today where I can absolutely clean the house, really get on top of things. And hopefully that will make me feel ready to get the Christmas decorations up and start getting everything sorted. So go and grab yourself a hot drink and get yourself motivated to put your Christmas decks up if you haven't already. Let me know if you have actually, because if you've put yours up already, I salute you. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this, go and grab all the cleaning stuff, tidying and decluttering, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get going. We're gonna get going with this cleaning stuff. I'm gonna start off in George's room. I've got loads of washing on the floor that I've just, it's all clean washing, but I just chuck it there because putting away his washing is literally the most, I just can't be bothered to do it like ever. But I'm gonna open up his blackout blind. You can see it's just like a temporary like solution that we haven't really fixed just yet, but it's his blackout blind. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'm going to like open his window, sort some of the clutter out in his room go down here where his washing is and just like sort this room out. Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop But somehow I knew And maybe so did you That everything would change from now on Oh, 
Okay, this room is now done. I just had to change my sweatshirt because I think I got a little bit of mold and mildew, um, the astonished mold and mildew um, stuff that I was doing with the window. I think I got a little bit of that on my really gorgeous rich chocolate um, sweater. So I was like, oh my God, I had to put it straight in to like soak. Um, and now it's in the wash and I'm really, really, really hoping um, that I didn't get it all over it because it's got bleach in it. So the bleach will obviously ruin the colour um, and I'm really, really hoping that I didn't, I got it quick enough that I didn't ruin it. But anyway, I was actually going to chuck this one um, out. It was in my pile to put in to the charity bag, but actually it's the perfect cleaning hoodie because, not a hoodie, sweater, whatever it is, sweatshirt, um, because I don't care if it gets bleach on it and I use bleach quite a lot um, when I'm cleaning or things that have bleach in that I didn't even realise used to have bleach in but then I remember like cleaning something once and like it all went like bright orange because it had bleach in it so I now assume everything has bleach in it. But anyway yeah so that's now in the wash and now this is my cleaning attire um, but I've done George's room, it smells really really clean in here, it's all tidy, well tidy enough I mean you can see like this is basically like as tidy as this is ever gonna get. I'm actually just gonna show you around the room a little bit just to like, I think I've done it in a few other vlogs but I'll do it in this one just so you can see like how I organize things in a very small nursery that is not done in the slightest but it's like a very makeshift room um, for now. So I'll just show you like in the drawers and stuff. I've rearranged a few things um, and then I'm just gonna hoover and mop in here and then we're done in here and I'm gonna move on to my room. Right, okay, so top drawer has changed a little bit. We've got loads and loads of nappies, like overfilling nappies. They didn't have any Pampers ones I really wanted, so I um, think I just went for like Tesco ones, like the pants. Um, he's gone up a size as well, to size five now. Um, but anyway, he's got all of his socks, um, all of that, these are like seasonal bits. So he's got like a sun hat, he's got a beanie, he's got a Christmas hat that he actually had last year, but I think he's probably gonna be able to, it was too massive for him last year. So I popped that in there. So they're like seasonal random bits that he doesn't use that often. Um, wipes, which we're running low on, we've only got two packs left. In this bag, I've just put bin bags and nappy bags because as you will have seen, I changed the nappy bin and there were loads of um, bin bags like all over the place in this drawer um, and then in here we've just got like general creams and um, nappy creams and stuff um, and then his essential oils for his um, glow dreaming night light slash diffuser slash humidifier slash night I don't even know what it is it's like everything this is pure goodness I love this thing so much but anyway um, when he's not ill I just use the absolute essential um, glow lullaby oil and then if he is ill which he pretty much always is now his nursery i use a little bit of the olbus oil in it i'm not sure if that's recommended but that is what i do and it works a bloody treat so yeah i've got those in there because i use it all the time um and then just some like pseudocrem and i don't really use nappy creams on him much um and i don't really use lotion on him much either but i have got them there just in case he ever has any like skin issues um that is his top drawer he used to have his medicine stuff in there but I've popped that now into this box because he seemed to have quite a lot um, and it was just like hanging about. So I've kind of popped a few things in here. So actually just got some sun creams in this Ikea Ziploc bag um, because we don't need sun cream at the moment. So I've just popped that to one side. Um, and then in here I've got some baby oil again. I just... I'm paranoid of things leaking, so I put everything in to a Ziploc bag. Um, I, we don't really use this much, but say we wanted to if we had dry skin. Um, I've got the baby oil there, um, and then we've got his Tommy Tibby healthcare kit, um, which has got like thermometer and like nail clippers and hairbrush and, and toothbrush and loads of other stuff like that. We've just got a couple of spares, so another spare nail clipper and this is like the no touch um thermometer i really really like this one so i've got that as well and then here are like his 
I would say like regular medicine, it's not regular, like I don't give him to him every day, but like if he's teething or if he's got a temperature or if he's got a cold, like all of the bits that we use, I put in here. And this I would say, if I was going away anywhere and he started teething or whatever, I would just take this whole thing. So it's got like cowpole, bongella, it's got like a vapor rub in there, like all of the, you know, like teething granules, like loads of essential bits. Um, so I've just got this in a bag because I know that I could just pick this up and pack it in a suitcase if we were ever be like going away or something. Because sod's law, if you are going away, they're probably going to get sick. So I literally just pick this up and take it. Um, I think actually I've got some cowpole plug-in refreshers, or not refreshers, what they're called, like um, the inserts for the cowpole plug-ins in here. But I haven't got an actual plug-in, so I'm going to get that. Oh no, that's actually already in the suitcase. I just leave that in the suitcase like standard um so yeah fab this is like my going away emergency baby first aid kit um but yeah so i've got that um but i just want to just chuck it all in this box because like i said we don't need it every day definitely not like sun cream and baby oil and hopefully not like cowpole and all that other stuff um and generally if it's just like he's got a bit of a blocked nose because he's at nursery and he's bringing home all the germs i'll basically just pop the Olbus oil in his diffuser, have that going, or even just like an essential oil and it will help him like throughout the night become decongested. And that's like the most common thing I think. Um, so yeah, this is now his like medicine slash, I don't know, box, <laughs> just the box. Oh my gosh, I've just seen that it has pillowcases on that label. How funny. Um, my pillowcases are now, I've literally got like two pillowcases, like two sets of pillowcases. So they're just, one is on the bed and one is underneath the bed. I used to have loads and loads and I used to keep them in this nice box and I used to have them like on top of the stairs but we just now have a load of baby stuff everywhere so no longer boxes for pillowcases, just baby medicine instead. But yeah, other than his medicine box, we've just got his sleeping bag, a box, and then also his washing. So that's like all the wash, all of George's washing. Um, and then this is just a little cute outfit that I got for him for Christmas day. This is a nice like knitted all in one thing. I just thought it was so cute. It's from Tesco and I think it was 10 pounds. So yeah, I've got that and I don't know where to put it really. So I've just popped it there. Everything else is a bit of a mess, but it's fine. We can deal with that. Yeah, that's pretty much everything in George's room. His cot is his cot. That's his current sleeping bag. That is the 3.5 tog one because it's super, super cold at nights at the moment. And then, and this corner is just like things he doesn't use anymore that I don't have any space for. So he's got his bouncer and his, um, what is this? The mama's um, and papa's like activity chair thing um it was really really good when he was younger but he would not sit still in that at the moment so um yeah and then obviously his um monitor that's like the perfect space where i can see him in the cot and i can't be bothered to put it on the wall just yet i think i'm just gonna wait until the new year to do it if i'm totally honest um but yeah that is george's room now i'm gonna move on to my room which is just it's just so neglected so let's move on guys Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La 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 oh 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 La 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 oh 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 La 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me Be 
be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh. So my camera died halfway through this room and you probably can tell that I've moved loads of stuff around and I missed so much that I did in the room on the camera so I apologize about that but I'm just going to show you what the room looks like now I don't know if I prefer it I just always do this when I'm doing like a deep clean of the house I feel like the house needs to be like moved about um there are like benefits to the way it is now and then some downsides but to be honest I just fancied a change um and it helped I needed to move furniture to clean anyway so it kind of just helped that um I moved it and then once I've moved it I didn't really want to move it back um so I'm just going to show you the room quickly it's a little bit, it's just tidier and neater, which is definitely a good thing. And I've put up some bits that kind of were just like hanging around on the floor that I hadn't got around to like putting up, like decorations and like pictures and frames and things like that. Not necessarily thing like where I would put them eventually, it's just, I don't want to get the drill out to be honest. So I really, I've just used like existing hooks or if there aren't any hooks um, available, then I've just like propped them. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean anyway. So as you walk in, it's exactly the same, like the bed is in the same place, obviously made the bed. I've cleaned all of the window area, all down there, ID, like dog head, the entire carpet, and you saw how gross that was. Um, but like the bed area, the lamp over there, doesn't work at the moment. I think the light bulb has gone, but anyway, um, yeah, so all of that's sorted, but I sorted everything out round here because actually, if you remember, there was a chest of drawers here, which I've now put here. Um, there was a chest of drawers there, but it was a little bit like, it was too narrow to get past really. It didn't really matter because Ash isn't here at the moment um, and that's his side of the bed. This is my side of the bed. So I didn't really care, but I thought he's coming back in like a month's time anyway. So I put them there um, and he can decide what he wants to do, which means I had space to put the mirror here, which I thought was a good shout. Um, and I just, I just like having a big mirror, to be honest. Um, I can look at this mirror was here and then I've, the drawers were here. So essentially I just swapped them. All of this is to be sorted. Obviously I've got my tripod. This is, so that's the nappy bin from the other room, uh, plus some rubbish um, like from in here. And then these are clothes that are going to charity. And then this is like the cleaning stuff slash stuff to go downstairs. Um, so yeah, popped the mirror there. Then this walkway is free. We've got our washing basket. I would ideally want my washing basket to go in the cupboards, like at the top of the stairs rather than our bedroom, but we don't have any space at the moment. So they're just there at the moment. Plus having this, wall clear is really really cool because i've actually got a little projector and i sometimes sit in bed and project something onto the wall here i do like projecting onto the wall um so yeah i like having like a clear space to do that and then as we come around i've just popped up a, like a few bits so obviously these are just like the ikea standard like let me just put that back in cheeky oh <laughs> there we go um so yeah i had like a few little decor bits like frames basically that i haven't hung up anywhere i've just put them on top of these drawers um i don't know what to do with this space up here i used to have like some baskets i think it was three of these baskets but 
I think one's downstairs and one is maybe in George's room. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe I'll do that again. I just kind of put like rogue boxes and stuff up there for now. Um, but yeah, I've just put some prints and things that were just sort of hanging around the house. Um, some of them are really, really cute. This is like my favourite picture of me and Ash when we went to Venice. Um, I've got a like floor plan of the Palace of Westminster because if you guys don't know, I used to work there and I just thought it was a really cool like print to have. It's like really nostalgic for me. Um, and then I've just got like some photo books. These are actually photo books that I'm gifting this Christmas. So I'm just putting them there because I don't know where else to put them. Um, and then yeah, some other bits as well. Picture of me and Ash, um, a print that my friend did for us when we got engaged, um, and just another let's stay at home sign that I got from the range. So that's like this side of the room. Um, and then yeah, I feel like it's just a lot tidier now. It was just a bit of a mess. To be honest, like even when I open the window and like open the curtains, it feels so much nicer in this room. So I'm just glad I've like, done all of that and I'm really glad I did all the carpets because Molly's hair gets absolutely everywhere which is why I'm so glad that I, we don't have carpets downstairs but she does sleep in my bedroom at the moment on the floor which is why this area specifically was like really bad but yeah I'm gonna pop all of these bits downstairs in the bin where they need to be um and then I'm going to probably catch up with you guys downstairs because these were like the two main rooms that needed doing upstairs the bathroom's fine and so is the office so I'm gonna probably catch up with you guys downstairs the living room and the kitchen are absolute messes so yeah wish me luck for that before I go downstairs I'll just show you the bathroom because I'm not sure if I've shown it really in here I haven't got loads of storage so things are just out um which does annoy me a little bit but I also don't care too much um so yeah ooh, everything's like nice and clean I just gave it like a quick wipe down and stuff so there's no like dust um I'm loving these these are the winter spiced um orange cinnamon and clove hotel collection from Aldi I love them, I've used it so much. I always use loads of the soap, like the hand wash, and then barely any of the um, hand cream, but it's the winter spice one as well. I love them, they're so gorgeous, and I think they're like two pound from Aldi, so not too bad at all. Um, and I have actually found this from last year, it's the Lush Snow Fairy set, um, and I haven't used any of it. I got it for Christmas last year, I think. So, once George is in bed, I'm going to have a Snow Fairy bath tonight, I think, um, which is why that's out. I mean, everything else is just out, everything's just out. These are my um, new skincare products so these are like the environ products i got two massive gift sets for myself because they were on sale um and i've got like the clarity um clarity plus set which is all the purple ones all of these little bits are the purple ones and then i also got the essentials or the essentia set which are the orange ones um so yeah i got loads loads of bits that's my new skincare this is sort of like my old skincare slash just general things like my toothbrush, George's toothbrush, toothpaste, um, deodorant, things like that. So I literally just use those two things. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the bathroom. Oh, and I've hung this mirror up in here instead of the one that was here before, um, just because I liked, I wanted to change up. I, like I said, anytime I clean anywhere, I always change something. So yeah, that is my teeny tiny bathroom and next door is where the toilet is. I've cleaned all of that as well. I'm just gonna go around and spray this spiced apple Febreze air mist everywhere, all over the carpets and bed and basically any of the fabrics other than in George's room. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and do this and then we're gonna meet downstairs. I think, I don't know whether to go kitchen or living room first. They're both an absolute mess. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling from 
Oh my gosh, how cosy is the living room when it's all nice and clean, candles on, fireplace on. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to get the Christmas tree up now. So I'm thinking here for the Christmas tree. Let me turn you guys around and show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm thinking Christmas tree here. Yes, it kind of will be in the way of these cupboards but i'm not gonna lie these cupboards don't have loads of stuff in that i need access to oh my gosh this cupboard actually has like nothing in it um i actually bought this storage you would have seen in like an older vlog i did it for a video like an ikea built unit thing um and it's actually quite a lot of storage more than i thought really so i think i might put some stuff in there that like can just hide for a little bit maybe some christmas presents or something like that i don't know um, but yeah, I think Christmas tree here, it's got a plug for the lights, which is good. And as we sit on the sofa here, I will be looking directly at it, which will be perfect. I don't really want to go too mad with the Christmas decorations this year because I'm really worried about George um, destroying everything. So you can see I've already got a wreath up behind me. I might reorganise these shelves a little bit so they're a little bit more Christmassy. Some like berry pine cone garland situation this is from the range by the way um this is also from the range something that george picked up whilst we were there so i grabbed that and then this um candle holder is from tk max or home sense um two years ago um i actually have it out quite often and then i just added these picks from um the range so without it is just a plain like wooden one but i've made it a little bit more christmasy and obviously i've got all of my christmas scents up i've got two reed diffusers one from next it's the i think it's christmas spice or festive spice um and then i've got two like one candle and one re-diffuser from a little brand called olivia's haven um, and then this one isn't a christmas one but it is almost run out it's sandalwood rose geranium from the botanical candle company in a little village called shaftesbury or a little town called shaftesbury so that is what that is but um yeah i think popping the christmas tree there would be a good shout um and then obviously like some lights and things but i might pop those in different rooms i'm not exactly sure but i really can't wait but yeah i think i'm going to leave the kitchen for another day just because i do have some cooking to do anyway and it just seems silly to like clean the kitchen and then cook so i think i'm probably just gonna do some cooking and then i'm going to do like a general clean and then i'll do like a deep clean another day but i'm really happy that i finally got all of these bits done i've been so demotivated with cleaning and stuff um, and now it's finally like 
all clean already um, for the Christmas decorations. So excited. I think that might be my next video, but I'm not gonna promise too much because um, putting up the Christmas decorations on my own with a one year old, it just seems like a big task. Um, but fingers crossed, it's the next video, if not the one after. Um, if you guys have any tips for like a baby proof, sort of Christmas decoration situation, then please let me know. Um, I've thought maybe of getting like a baby gate or not a baby gate, but like a little, tr like I don't even know what it's called. It's like a little like fence sort of situation around the um, tree. I couldn't think of the word, um, around the tree, but I just have a feeling that George will just knock that down. So I don't really know. I don't know, he might not even be that interested, but chances are he will be anyway. <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and motivation to like sort the house out and get it all nice and clean before the Christmas decorations come out. And yeah, I definitely needed this video to like motivate myself. So if it did motivate you, then leave a little comment down below because I would love to know. For now, as always, I will love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby